seen this airplane down here a couple of times. This is the first time I've seen you down here, though. Well, I have been here. I was here last year. I was here in 97, but the airplane came a couple of times with a friend of mine. What's the story behind this airplane? Uh, the story behind this is that I designed the airplane in uh, 1986. Wanted a biplane. Uh, as a little kid, uh, I liked uh, the Falker D7s, the little German biplanes, and that's, that's what I did. I tried to build it somewhat like a Falker D7, but I didn't want to replicate the thing. I wanted what I wanted in a biplane, and I put all the little stuff in it, like the scalloped wings, the Falker D7 tail, the nostalgic wheels, and, and all that kind of thing. Designed what I call my fantasy airplane. It's the airplane that I wanted, and it's a look-alike. What type of construction is used in the airplane? Well, uh, it's, it's a standard tube and fabric construction, uh, 4130 welded uh, steel uh, fuselage tubing, uh, half inch most of it, 35 thousandths wall, tail feathers are the same, uh, the landing gear is 4130 engine mounts, the struts and so forth on the wing uh, are 4130. The wing itself is very similar to uh, a couple of airplanes that most of us know about, and that's the Avid Flyer and the Kit Fox. It's uh, got the two and a half inch uh, 6061 T6 tubing with the wooden uh, ribs on it, and that's the that's that's part of that construction. Oh, uh, this aircraft here is powered by a 532 Rodex. Yes, it is, and uh, that's only because of the fact when I started building the uh, airplane back in '86. Uh, my wife bought me an engine, and the engine at that time was a Rotax 532. By the time I got the airplane done, that 582 was the engine that everybody was using, but I said, nope, I'm going to, it's a brand new engine, I'm going to use it. So I've been using it, been getting along fine with it. But it's, a, it's, it's an airplane designed for about 65 horsepower or a 582 or anything that you might want to put in it that is roughly the same weight and roughly the same horsepower. Okay, it's kind of a standard, it's all push rod control system except for the rudder and it's just regular aircraft type uh, cable, eighth inch uh, aircraft cable coming back the rudder. Everything else is push rod. Now, that airplane runs up and flying, let's go with the 582. What kind of performance are you going to get out of it, uh, you know, full range? Okay, uh, as I mentioned I think uh, a little earlier, it's going to get off the ground and awfully close to 100 feet. Now it's going to depend a little bit on your altitude, it's going to depend on a few of those kind of things, but in about 100 feet you're going to get airborne. You're going to get somewhere in the area of about 1300 feet a minute. Uh, you're going to want to fly the airplane at about 75 miles an hour for a cruise. You're going to get somewhere around 95 to 100 mile an hour out of it on a top end. And you can depend on that. Are you doing here at the show then? You built an airplane for yourself. And, uh, what's the <laughs> next stage here that I see coming? Okay. Well, of course, I built the airplane for myself, designed it, built it for myself, and I had a lot of people, and, and I took it to an air show or two just to see, you know, how people felt about it, if they liked it. And I had so many come to me and say, if you would either do plans or you would do kits, I would like to have one of those. A couple of years ago, I retired from my regular job, which was in the automobile business for 36 years, and I said, hey, I'm too young to retire. I'm going to do something. So I decided to build kit planes. I have my first kit sitting right over here in a box, ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. And what comes down the line? What comes down the line are uh, possibly new models off of this basic airplane right here and I'm going to stick with biplanes. I love biplanes. Uh, I like the look-alikes and, uh, and I have quite a few ideas in the back of my mind on other World War I type or early on biplanes. Now, the kit that we've uh, got here sitting in the box, what does that consist of? Uh, like, uh, I'm a customer, I'm looking at building this kit. What am I going to get? How long is it going to take me to do this? Okay, uh, you're going to get everything in the kit that will build the airplane less an engine prop and instruments and i think that's kind of a standard as i find in this industry uh, there's going to be everything there all welded construction bolt together construction a little bit of woodwork on formers and fairings and things of this nature of course you're going to have to cover it you've got a little bit of metal work to do but it's it's very straightforward 
<clears throat> all of the patterns are there. All the patterns are going to be there. Uh, and, and if you can build a model airplane, you can build this one. Time-wise, depends a little bit on your experience. I'm going to leave myself open here. I'm going to say from 650 to 1200 hours. I know that's a wide spread, but if you're really sharp and you really know what you're doing, you'll walk through this like you can't believe. 650 hours. What about the manuals? Uh, is there, or is there a video available to it, uh, for it as well? At this point in time, I have not built a video for uh, the construction of the airplane. Just an informational. We're working on that. Uh, but the manual itself is, is I'm a country boy, I'm going to talk to you like a country boy, and I'm going to start you with the easy part on the airplane and walk you into the next part so you'll have a little experience and walk you into the next and the next and the next. And it's going to be simple, straightforward. It's going to have figures, uh, diagrams, uh, pictures, and things of this nature so you can say, oh, this is what he means. Oh, this is what he means. Okay. But basically, it's going to be uh, a tinker toy. I put this here, I put this here, I put these bolts here, this is the length of bolt I put in here, this is what I do here, and this is what I do here. If somebody wanted to get more information, uh, you got a name, address, website, that type of thing? I've got, uh, what we've got is uh, www.myfighter, M-I-F-Y-T-E-R.com. We've got about five pages in there, tells our whole story. Thank you very much for your time, then. Well, thank you for having me.